Well, an apparent murder-suicide in Framingham. The victim's mother says that the woman involved was in an abusive relationship. Susie Steimel reports. Yeah, I just had a feeling that, that he beat her. It's, something was wrong. I just knew it. With fire crews, police, and emergency personnel at the ready, Marie Bonilla recalls that horrible feeling, walking up to her daughter's door, fearing she'd find her on the other side dead. Marie said her stomach dropped when she heard her own voice on a ringtone she recorded on her daughter's phone through the door. It's your, it's your mother on the phone, it's your mother on the phone, I love it, it's cute. And I said, oh my God, her phone's there too. Michelle Batista and her boyfriend were found shot to death inside their 2nd Street apartment in Framingham from an apparent murder-suicide. Her mother had a clue something was wrong when Michelle didn't show up for work. Unfortunately, she has reason to worry. Michelle was in an abusive relationship but never pressed charges. What I thought is that he beat her so bad that she couldn't move. I thought she was hurt. I never was prepared for what I was about to find out. As she tries to stomach the truth, she wants to make sure another mother won't have to. She's giving this advice to any person afraid to leave a dangerous relationship. Run, get away, no matter how hard it is, you don't deserve that, because you, otherwise you might end up dead. Michelle is survived by her parents. I'm going to miss her all the time. Her brothers and sisters. She was just a real big-hearted person. And her 15-year-old son. Police continue to actively investigate this case. In Framingham, Susie Steimel, WBZ News.